Oh, my God, Julia, what happens to Chip if I go to jail? No one is sending you anywhere. Together, we're going to prove that the only thing you're guilty of is protecting my child from an animal. I don't know how to thank don't you. Don't thank me. Just be upfront with me about everything, every detail. I can only be as good a lawyer as you'll let me be. I know, thanks. Victoria, if there is any past association with Paul Marshall, I want to know now, and I mean it. I got your message. What's up? It's not good. Marshall came out of the coma and made some unflattering remarks to the district attorney. What remarks? Oh, well, I don't know whether or not Keith put him up to this, but he says that I shot him because he refused to run away with me. What? Oh, it gets worse. He claims that we were lovers, and he has sworn to it in writing. Now Keith has everything he needs to charge me with attempted murder. I dropped it by accident. C could you hand it to me? I, I, I can't even move another step. I'm so weak. You're doing beautifully. Give yourself a break. You know, I have this fantasy every time you go out that I'm going to make some incredible progress while you're gone, but I never do seem to. I end up feeling like a fool. No, don't say that. Look how far you've come. I guess I'm just tired. I, I swear, I just feel weak. Weaker than I did yesterday. Maybe you're working too hard, huh? I don't want you to push too much, okay? Okay. Here. Look, look. Okay, we're gonna find him. You'll see with your own eyes at this time. Mr. Castillo, would you please let him know that Ms. Norris is expecting him in the office? Mr. Castillo in? Thank you. No, he isn't. I am the only one in the office. Good, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> so what would you have done if I hadn't been alone? I've arranged for a credible reason for being here. Your father doesn't go anywhere without being prepared, you know that. Yes, well... 
Cruz or any one of the others could be here at any moment, so I want you to have your excuses ready. All right, but I don't like making excuses to see you. Well, it's just going to have to be that way for a little while. We've seen each other too few times in the past years. You're always off to Spain or France or Italy. And every time I track you down, you find yourself another port. Well, I had contacts to make. Yeah. And I just had some events that needed to be planned well in advance. I want you to tell me about those plans. Not yet. Elena, you used to confide in me, even when you were in trouble. You trust me. I do trust you, and I'll tell you when the time comes, I promise. Okay, then tell me at least what are you doing here in Santa Barbara? Essentially the same thing you are. No, see, I'm here under the auspices of the university. Right, and you're here because C.C. Capwell is here and because you want to settle an old account. Right, that is true in part. I won't deny it. Well, that's the part I want to help you with in my own way. No. No, these quarrels are my own, Elena. I never meant for you to get involved. And what am I supposed to do? Just sit around and do nothing? Hurting him financially is not enough payback for what Cece has done to us. And the one thing I can tell you is that when I am finished, he will be hurt in many more ways. It's unfortunate that in Victoria's initial statement, she didn't mention that she knew Paul Marshall from the past. Okay, I can just imagine how quickly Tim has turned that into an outright admission of guilt. I wish to God I'd said something. Why didn't you? Because when I knew him, he was just a sleazy kind of a man who would do anything for money. So would a lot of guys. That doesn't explain why you didn't tell this to us. Come on, I barely knew him. I didn't think it was relevant. Under what circumstances exactly did you know Paul Marshall? It was just business. That was all. We never even dated. I mean, to say that we were lovers is absolutely ridiculous. All right, were you involved with anyone else at the time, anyone that could testify that you weren't with Paul Marshall? Um, Marty. I lived with Marty on and off. Marty all who? Front. Marty who? Uh, Marty Ellis. Cruz knows him. Yeah. All right. All right, we can try to contact him. Well, I'm, I'm not so sure that Martin Ellis would be willing to cooperate with Victoria. Yeah, we really didn't part as friends. That's still worth a try. Yeah, it is. Why don't I go back to my office, see if I can track him down. I'll let you know if it pans out. No, I'll do it. No, listen, I, you've got plenty to worry about, Julia. I can take care of this. That's true. Representing me is going to be the biggest challenge you have all year. And she wouldn't have taken that challenge on, Tori, if you didn't think she could win the case because you're innocent and for what it's worth. That's the way I feel, too. I appreciate it. Both of you guys are really too. All right, I think that we should listen to Cruz and get back to my office. We've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to step up my uh, office. Gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, the bottle blonde is Miss Victoria Kaplan. You may remember from her Hollywood days, she had a, she had a television show at Broadway. Did you actually know Lee Majors? Oh, never mind. Officer Clark uh, has a performance of his own here, okay? So, uh, all everybody pay attention. Stage is yours, Officer Clark. Sing out, Louise. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be oh, used okay, against wait a you second. in a court of law. What the hell is this? How quickly they forget. It's called an arrest. Begins with the reading of the rights. You know, it was inspired by the Miranda decision. Hold it! Just a second here. You are going to arrest my client on the basis of some trumped-up garbage by a kidnapper Ms. who's Wainwright. only... Miss Wainwright! She tried to kill a man. Almost succeeded. The type of person we lock out before she tries it again. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, an attorney will be appointed for you without charge before questioning. Okay, this is very hot and very full, so be careful. Thank you. Maybe after you drink your tea, you should uh, take a nap. I hate sleeping in the middle of the day. It makes me feel like an invalid all over again. You've been working very hard. I wonder how long it'll be before I have to sleep. Sooner than you think. You're much stronger than you were before. You just can't see it. You know why I'm so anxious to get better? Why? I'd like to go somewhere with you. Go out. Where? To the town where you get your supplies. I mean, we can make a day of it. Do they have a place to eat there? Not a very good one. Well, that's okay. I mean, just for variety's sake, for something different. I mean, I don't even know if I could deal with getting there. I don't know how far it is. 
The other day you said uh, you didn't need to leave here, that you were happy just being here alone with me. I am. Of course I am. Then why all this talk about going to town? I guess I just wanted to uh, show off a little. What do you mean? Well, I mean us. I wanted people to see us together. Does that sound silly? No. No, and if it's the truth, I'd be the happiest man in the world. And if you want, if you really want, uh, someday we'll do that. We'll get all dressed up and make a day of it. In, in fact, I was saving this. But I want you to open it now. It's a dress and some shoes. The one I gave you before, the other dress, it was bought for someone else, and I thought it was only right that you have one that was only meant for you. Where did you get it? There's only one store in town that sells clothes. Uh, it's not as elegant as you deserve, but it's the best I could do. This town is turning out to be a lot larger than I imagined. A restaurant no. and clothing store? No, don't get your hopes up. It's, it's only a couple of small buildings on a main road. Sometimes I've pictured it when you've left me. I mean, I don't even know what direction it's in. Whoops. Whoops. What direction is it in? Ah, uh, just east, just east of the lake. You'll we'll see it one day real soon. Yes, I, I will. Is it okay? What? Dress. Oh, yes. It's it's wonderful. I, I love it. I really do. You know, sometimes I think you just tell me things to please me. No, I, I don't. I really love it. I, I really do. No, that's what I was afraid of at first. That, that I really couldn't be sure how you felt. I wasn't sure if you meant it. Well, I do. You haven't said it in a while. I love you, Kane. You know, I don't... I don't think you could ever love me as much as I love you. I just want us to be happy together here. To have our life here. For the rest of our days. Forever. Do you really think we can do any good? I don't know, darling, but let's go look up our dippy DA and find out what's going on. Yes, Mr. Capwell. Mrs. Capwell and I are going over to the courthouse. Bring the car around. False arrest, darling. We have to find a way to prove it. I know, but you know what I can't help thinking? What? That Mason would know how to handle this. He's worked in the DA's office for so long, he knows all the ins and outs. And he, among all of us, is the one that can really handle Timmons. Baby, if he hasn't shown up yet, are we going to hold our breath for him? He doesn't know about his wife shooting. He doesn't know that she's been arrested. I mean, it's absolutely insane. How can he be out of touch for so long? Must be the car. All right, we're on our way out. You certainly are. A few more weeks, a few more lawsuits. Capwell Enterprises will definitely be on their way out. Are you ready to liquidate some of your holdings to make up for the settlements, to pay for all of that? You can add my legal action to the list also. A defamation of character. Alex, Alex, you had a public forum for your gloating in front of, uh, when you performed in front of the television camera. Now, why would you want to come here and confront me personally? Now, you had plenty to say to the cameras, too, Cece. For someone who lives in an unprotected glass house, be real careful where you throw stones. Oh, let's not forget who threw the first stone, Alex. I'm not going to remain silent while you accuse me of representing my own creation, then having it stolen, to be misused in the future. You know that I'll never get a research grant. I hope you don't. You don't deserve one. All you care about is yourself. You don't care about anybody else. You, you try to set me up. To please realize that lives have been lost since you started this war with one another. Now, maybe you could use these energies to prevent further tragedies instead of throwing insults at each other. Cece, your daughter-in-law needs you. We don't have time for this. You're right, darling. Let's go. Goodbye, Alex. 
So do you think your editor will be interested in publishing one of these? Where did you pick these pictures up? Well, uh, Mrs. Mason Capwell and I <coughs> were what you would call close in her early days in Hollywood. See, that's when she was the as yet undiscovered Victoria Lane. So I see. <laughs> Just pick your favorite. Give me back the rest. Well, that's a tough choice, but uh, I think I'll take this one. <coughs> yeah, she'd like to forget those lane years. You know, I, I wonder what she's going to do when, when she sees herself splashed in such a clear remembrance across the front pages of your newspaper. But, you know, <coughs> I really feel that these have historical value. Don't you agree? Oh, indeed I do. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. I'll send you a tear sheet when we put the story together. <clears throat> I look forward to it. Uh... Hi, Lynn. Sorry to bother you while you're recuperating, Mr. Marshall, but uh, Ms. Capwell's attorney insists that before she's taken into custody, she gets a chance to rebut your testimony face to face. Oh, we were never lovers, and you know it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, baby. Not now. This, this isn't going to work. I mean, I, I, I can't protect you now. You tried to kill me. You went around screaming that I was... I was taking babies. <coughs> Come on, that's just not going to work. Look, I didn't even recognize you when you first came to town. Oh. oh. Well, what about these? Huh? Huh? You remember this? <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> Kelly? 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 Where are you? Kelly, help me. I can't move. Okay, well, hang on. I'll go get help. No. No, no. It's... It'll be quite too long. I... I can hardly breathe as it is. Help me! You better get me out of here. You can't let me die! You hear that, Kelly? Two voices. I told you there was someone else in here. Kelly, for God's sake, help me! you know that we have every intention of bringing suit against you for false arrest. Tell me something, Timmons. How much did you promise this uh, child stealing Mr. Marshall? What was the deal, huh? He spreads misleading statements about Victoria and you what, play Gestapo agent? Uh, what did you promise him? Immunity? Reduced sentence? What is it? Tell us. Hey, come on. You're going to be out come of here on what? by tonight. Are you representing her, Julia? Yes, I am, Sophia. My legal department's at your disposal. Thank you. You know, this... <laughs> I hate to interrupt, but this is all very heartrending. I mean, people believe her with all your heart. That a girl was ever so lucky to have such fabulous in-laws. I mean, you actually believe her. Your loyalty is amazing, however mistaken. What are you trying to tell us? Well, I... I mean, you've been in close contact with her. Don't you have all the facts? Yes, everything that's relevant, I've got. I... I have a relevant one here. Uh, your sweet daughter-in-law uh, has failed to nail down her relationship with Matt Shot. What, what relationship are you talking about? I don't well, care. Jay, what let me finish said. here. Well, get on with well, it. All right. She said she didn't know him. Now she says she hardly knows him. I think she should have said that she barely knows him. You know, bear as in uh, bear. Um, you know, look, it, it was a modeling <laughs> job. Paul and I were... Um, both hired by this firm that, that sold lingerie. He was hired as a photographer, and sometimes he, he doubled as, as a model as well. My agent had told me that it was going to be very tasteful, and of course, once I got there, it wasn't the story. Well, but they finish it. Come on. The air is filled with bated breaths. All right, Victoria, go on. Well, we got through a roll of film before I realized that everybody in the room was sleazy, so I quit. And I later tried to, to reach Paul. I reached him, and I told him that I... You you told him, told I told him, him that I wanted him to destroy the pictures uh, because they were just. May I interrupt? Victoria is your counsel. I strongly advise well, I you. I want to say another here word. to know the truth, Julia. Oh, well, come on. I'd love to. Scandals. The world loves scandals. Let me speak to you in private. Now, please. Ah, uh, you're right. Right, right. Uh, before she says too much. You know, the thing about getting out, 
What's funny is, is that the hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Doesn't it? Well, didn't it occur to Mrs. Catwell that maybe the man might regain consciousness and say that he knew her? Uh, Mrs. Capwell was scared, and knowing as she does how badly Keith Timmons wants to pin something on her, she figured it'd be smart to keep the connection a secret. Uh-huh. Well, she'd be a lot better off if she'd just told the whole story in the first statement, including the bit about the pictures. Well, apparently she thought the pictures had been destroyed, and I can see why somebody would want to keep a humiliating part of their past in the past. Well, now that it's all been dug up, you know what they say. Buried garbage smells worse. You know, Eleanor, I don't see what good it's going to do to stand around and criticize the woman. The fact remains, she acted in self-defense. She shot a man who she thought was kidnapping uh, a baby. I mean, I, for one, would like to help her prove that fact. Last resort. I'll be right there. Yeah. Where are you going? She wants to see me. Who? Victoria. Well, isn't she with her lawyer now? I'm going to help Julia with her case. I told you that. Victoria Capwell needs all the help she can get. It is warm in here. Maybe, the, maybe that's why you can't sleep. I don't know what it is. My mind just seems to be racing. I'm sure you've had that happen to you. Yeah, when I'm afraid of something or worried. What are you worried about, Eden? Nothing. I think it's like you said, I just did too much walking today. Do you trust me? Why do you say that? I had it all to do over again. I mean, there was so much I would change. The drinking, the rages. I've done a lot to frighten you. Sometimes, even now, I think I see fear in your eyes. Kane, you couldn't control yourself. It's in our past. Yeah, it was in the past. I promise that. I, I can never do anything in the slightest way to hurt you. I that you have my word. You don't have to say that. I, I, I just keep wanting to prove to you how much I love you. Kane, please. Not yet. I, I want it to be right. I want it to be perfect. Maybe you just need to let it happen. I can't let it happen. I need time. I thought you said you understood. I do. I'd do anything for you. I'm gonna go down to the lake for a while. Will you be all right? Sure. I think if I try again, I can go to sleep. I love you.
I know Julia's gonna quit. No, she's not. She said she's gonna represent you, and she will. Yeah, but every time she turns around, I'm in more trouble. It's trouble for you, too. I really want you to believe in me, Cruz. I do, Tori. The only virtual contact I had with Paul was during that, that photo shoot. That's all there was to it. I swear Look, it. Look, I wouldn't I be it. here if I didn't believe in you. I'm already working on the case. Things did not go as well as we would have hoped with Martin Ellis. But you did talk to him. Yeah, I did. He, he said that... Well, he said that he had no way of knowing whether you were involved with anybody else when he was living with you. I bet he didn't put it quite that way. No, I'm paraphrasing a little. Okay, so what are we going to do? How are we going to prove that Paul is lying? Well, I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm working on it. Julia's working on it. Mr. C has volunteered his entire legal staff. If that many people working together can't come up with a decent defense, then I'll, you probably don't deserve to be free. But, Cruz, bail hasn't even been posted it yet. It will be set in the near future, and Mr. C will post it immediately. That's going to happen. Okay. Until then, though, I need to ask a favor of you. Anything you need. Um, I'd like you to take Chip, please. I thought Chip was staying with the Capwell. Yeah, yeah, well, they were going to take him, but I would feel much more comfortable if you would look after him. Please say yes. Look, Tori, I'm flattered, but I don't know the first thing about... Oh, that doesn't matter. Come on, Cruz. You brought him into this world. Your instincts served you very well then, and I'm sure they'd be fine now. Look, it's only for a little while, just until I get out of this place or Mason gets home. Please, Cruz, say yes. Scotch, please. I don't believe it. I'm seeing more of you now than I have in years. Makes me realize how much I really miss you. Today has been a series of unusual circumstances. Don't expect to see me so much in the future. Maybe we can pretend to be working together and give us an opportunity to see each other more often. What did you have in mind? How about if, if we were conferring on an advanced security system for the lab to prevent further thefts? Does that sound plausible? Yes, I suppose so. Good, you're hired. <laughs> Unless you have to run it by Cruz first. No. Cruz doesn't check with me on his assignments. I don't see why I should need his permission. What are you referring to? He's been playing nursemaid to Victoria Capwell recently. Did you hear about the shooting incident that she was involved in? Yes, I read about it. Well, she was arrested and charged this morning, and now suddenly it seems that she cannot make a single move without Cruz. If it's important, he must have a reason. I think that they were lovers once, a long time ago. And apparently there are still some very strong ties. Sounds like your concern is, is more than neglected business. Is there a little jealousy in that? Be careful, Elena. <laughs> what do you mean? Cruz Castillo is not the kind of man you're usually involved with. You're used to relationships where you call the shots. Castillo will never sit still for that. I didn't realize you knew him so well. Well enough to know that if you're interested in him more than you originally told me, you better change your tactics. Uh, I already have. I'm willing to be whoever or whatever he wants. Kelly, <coughs> I can't. I can't anymore. You have to. Hang on. Hang on. You hear me? You hear me? Jeffrey, say something. Talk to me! I'm trying to get this guy out of here. If I leave him here, he's gonna die. Yeah. Kelly, you heard his voice. He's gotta be in here somewhere. He must be behind there. I'm gonna try and get him out.
How? How can she justify this kind of behavior? We give her full support and she takes away our grandson. Honey, it might sound a little, sound a little strange to you, but maybe it's not a reflection on us. Don't you understand something? That, that boy, that he belongs here. This is the logical place. He is our grandson. Try to put yourself in Victoria's place. She's known Cruz for a long time. They knew each other in high school. She's only known us for less than a year. Look, we have raised five children. Six, including Brandon. Cruz has raised none. She trusts him, and she knows him very well. She also knows damn well that he's a father of that child. You think she might want to tell him, possibly? An excuse to tell him? Yeah, I do. I think maybe that's it, particularly if she thinks Mason has abandoned her. Mason. Who the hell is he keeping himself? Does he know he has a wife and child at stake? I guess he doesn't care as much about them as we hoped he would. Maybe not. But as Mason's father, I feel I have something very important invested here. There's the Capwell Trust that's involved. And the Capwell name. She is jeopardizing that. Doesn't she know that by her actions? Victoria is the child's mother. If it isn't the choice we approve of, what can we do to live with it? I don't agree with that. I think we have a clear right to custody of that boy, and I mean to get it. And I don't care if we have to take a court order out to do it. That's the way it's going to be. I suppose Cruz told you about Martin Ellis. We may have to abandon the idea of corroborating testimony on that front, but you'll still be able to speak up for yourself and deny that you and Paul Marshall were lovers. And then Paul's lawyer comes up with those pictures. Victoria, we have a case to prepare, and if you dwell on the negatives, we're not going to get anything done. Well... Well, on the negatives. What? That's sort of a... It's a vague pun, isn't it? That's clever for you. What do you want, Timmons? I, ju I just want to welcome our babe here to our little hotel. Listen, mm -hmm. I know we don't have designer towels and sheets, but, I mean, we got to admit we have clean water and the bread's a day old, but... And I, I know you think that's amusing, but it isn't really. Well, no, I just think it's a sort of a bad scene around here the first couple of days, but you might get used to it. You know, just think of it as a role. Like, you know, you must have been done prison movies, right? Like, you know, women, women in chains, babes behind bars, sisters in stripes. You get used to this, trust me. Take a hike. My jail, my prerogative, baby. We'd like to be alone. Out. Uh, you're right. You're right. You ought to be alone. She's going to be away for a long, long time, you know? Now that C.C. Uh, probably doubts her fidelity to his son, he's going to be lining up all his high-priced reserves against her, maybe even hire a lawyer for poor old Paul, huh? Huh? <laughs> You're boring me, Keith. Now I'm used to it, however she is, and so let's not subject oh. her to that, shall we? Okay, I'll go back to my office. Thank you, you guys have fun, okay? Have a nice day. You're smart enough to know not to listen to him, I presume. What if he's right? What if Cece does turn against me? Cece is not one of my favorite people. However, I don't think he believes that you would betray Mason or the family name to run off with Paul Marshall. What if it's for another reason? Oh, don't do this to me, Victoria. What other reasons? <clears throat> I don't want Cece and Sophia to look after Chip. I asked Cruz to do it. I'm afraid that Cece might take that personally. This isn't going to make your job any easier, is it? Surprise. I, I couldn't sleep, so I decided I would try again. I didn't know what you wanted to do. It would be like I walked in here one day, totally expecting to see you still struggling, and you'd walk right into my arms. Uh, yes, that's what I was hoping. I'm so proud of you. Look, look what you've done, how hard you've worked. Well, I doubt if I could get across the room even. I, I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm feeling kind of dizzy. No, 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 no. No. I want you to try to walk to me right now. I can't, Kane. No, you can do anything you want to do. Look at you. You're already doing it. Don't you realize that? You're walking with one cane. Pretty soon you'll be walking by yourself. You're well. No, stand up, stand up. No. I want you to... No.
the day that you walked into my arms would be the day we made love. I want to make love with you so much. Don't be afraid. It's the most natural thing in the world. It'll be perfect. No. No. Kane, hey, no. Why are you acting like that? You act as if I think you think I'd hurt you. Don't force me. I shouldn't have to force someone who loves me. You do love me, don't you? Yes, I do. Then Stop me from loving you. So what do you think, bud? This is the office. Yeah, I know. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Well, you said you wanted to learn the uh, detective business from the ground floor up, so I figured might as well start here. Um, how about, what do you say I just put you down here on my desk? You can share this commanding view of the, uh, objet d'art. What do you think? Okay, okay, don't worry. You gotta bear with me. I'm a little bit of a greenhorn at this, so it might take me a minute. Let me, uh, see. What do we gotta do here with you? We gotta cover the necessities. Here you go. I know you, you need food, clothing, and shelter. You got clothing. You got a nice roof over your head here, pal. Gosh, you're getting big, buddy. What do you need? You need, um... You need, uh, food. Food. You're gonna go easy on these. May I? Hello. This is Chip. Hi, Meet Ellen. Chip. Ah. Oh, yeah. He's beautiful. This Victoria Capwell's baby? Yeah, she wants me to uh, look after him until she makes bail. Why you? Well, why not me? What, do you think I can't handle it or something? No, well, I think your instincts are great. You just need a little experience. Yeah, well, I, uh, I can handle it. I just, um, I don't understand some of the, you know, she, she mentioned I should, I should burp him after I fed him, and I don't, I don't know how to oh, burp him. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> Throw him over your shoulder and give him a couple taps. Lost it worked? A bit on your, I think it worked. <laughs> Already. Okay, okay. It's okay, too. It's amazing watching him, uh, Getting back to me? Yeah, all right. You finish up. Okay, but I'm going to give you something here. I'm going to chow for you. This. You're going to love this. What do you think? Okay. In the mood for that? Is that okay? You know, I could watch your little face all day, pal. Like I said, your instincts are great. I was watching you, and I think you'd make someone a great daddy. <laughs> Not in the mood for this? Yeah, well, I, I was hoping to have kids with Eden, but uh, once she died, I kind of put that part of my life aside. Is that the way the rest of your life is going to go, Cruz? You just lock away all the precious joys, never to be seen or experienced again? You have so much left to give, Cruz. I just hope you realize that one day.
Are you tough enough to spend Friday night with the toughest men on television? Find out, starting with Stan.